So you know how sometimes you can tell somebody something right. and they won't listen to you, but they'll listen to somebody else? Right. You're that somebody else. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So for the, all those people who are listening right now, that this is so scary, this idea of leaving a, mm -hmm. a safe and secure right. full-time employment job, right. which I, I would argue is also a myth. Right. Um, what would you tell them? and why this is a good idea. Well, it's a, a little bit of what you just said is certainly one of the points, which is if you look at organizations of all sizes, but particularly the large ones where people tend to fall into that comfort zone, they are not safe harbors anymore. More and more the competition is there. You see activist investors coming in and destroying those organizations. Um, large organizations all over this country are laying off and you don't have any control over that. It's It happens to you when it happens to you. Versus if you're a freelancer, you have complete control over going after the work, doing the work you want to do, um, and not being reliant on someone else to make decisions about your life. So that is scary, but I don't think that you're safe. No, I'd really much rather have someone else make decisions about my life, <laughs> yeah. I just, right. that sounds way more appealing right. to me. Yeah, so, but I think someone it's, um, so that's, that's one. I would say also, it's just that um, employers are more and more just going to this model, right? So. I'm gonna get the dates kind of wrong, but I think it's by 2020, 50% of work will be sitting in this space. So it, it will be the type of work that's out there and available. You can see it already. There are um, companies who do things where they source talent for project work and then they activate it on demand for their clients. So it's out there and the work is available. It's plentiful.